The west coast of the United States is on fire, stretching all the way from Washington state, Oregon, throughout California and down to the Mexican border. Over the last 48 hours, dozens of major wildfires have claimed at least seven lives, while others barely escaped the fast-moving flames. Last night, a bunch of, a couple cars came up with their blue lights and their weird sirens, and they just said, everybody out. And so my neighbors left before I did, and I just did the things you do before a fire hits, you know, get stuff out of the way, and, and I just got in my car and came down here. Some residents hoping to return to their homes on Thursday discovered their entire neighborhoods had been reduced to ashes and debris. Everything was gone. We, we tried to take as much as we could, but we didn't think it would get devastating. So we left a lot behind, and we ended up losing more than we thought we could have. In the middle of a pandemic, many are stranded without a place to stay. Oregon's governor emphasized that the worst is not yet over. We expect to see a great deal of loss uh, as a result of these fires, both in terms of structures and in terms of human lives. Um, it, as I mentioned earlier, could be the greatest loss in human lives and property due to wildfire in our state's history. My heart goes out to all of the families impacted uh, by this devastating event. Satellite images showed vast plumes of smoke blanketing the western states. Conditions were not safe to provide air support to suppress and monitor the fires in some areas. And with the winds reaching 80 kilometers an hour, containing the blazes became nearly impossible in what has become one of the nation's worst wildfire seasons. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.